Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you my DVD and Blu-ray collection version 2024. So the first one is Matilda, this is a DVD. Here's the spine and the back. This DVD is from 2004 and it's a single disc. I recommend you watch this movie, it's pretty good. Well, it's on Netflix if you don't want to go all DVD or Blu-ray. The next movie is Shrek from 2001. This is the original DVD. Here's the spine and the back. 11 hours of bonus material. Pretty jam-packed for 2001. Behind disc 1 in full screen is the DVD guide. And the disc with Donkey in the front is the movie in widescreen. I recently bought this off of Amazon in July. It's pretty cheap. It's not that expensive. Here's Shrek 2 from 2004. This is the widescreen DVD that I bought off of Amazon like a month ago. It was about to be two months ago since I uploaded this video on November. And the disc is in widescreen because I'm not a fan of full screen. Here's the disc itself. It's one disc unlike the previous movie. And right here is two flyers for some offers for 2004. They expired in 2005 so I can't use them anymore. And here's my last DVD and it's Cars 3. I bought this up in 2017. Off of Walmart. Not that much extras, this is my last DVD that I bought because they were lacking a bunch of extras and also I got a Blu-ray player the next year. Now let's move on to my Blu-rays. Alright, so my first Blu-ray movie is Cars 2. I bought this off of Amazon when it was brand new in 2018. Here's the spine and the back. This Blu-ray is using the same ones from the 2011 Blu-ray 3D. Here's disc 1 with the movie, and here's disc 2 with the bonus features. Some people might trash on me for only having Cars 2 and 3 since I don't have the first Cars movie. And also, I'd be able to watch it on Disney Plus since I have a subscription. The next one is the Spider Man 3 movie collection. This is the MCU Spider Man with Tom Holland. We got Homecoming, Far From Home, and No Way Home. Here's the spine. And the back. Right here is the digital code. Yeah, these digital codes are expired, so don't even try typing them, they will just give you an error immediately. Here's Spider Man Homecoming. Here's Spider Man Far From Home. Behind Far From Home, I put in Spider Man to the Spider Verse since I bought that DVD individually and don't have a case for it anymore. And behind Homecoming is no other than the greatest MCU Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. For some reason, this disc is region A in the States or the Americas itself. That's the three MCU Spider-Man movie collection. Now let's move on. Here we have Incredibles 2 from 2018. This is the original 2018 Blu-ray. Here's disc 1 with the movie, and disc 2 with the extras. I don't have the DVD inside of it because I got rid of it and the digital code has been used already. Here I have Hotel Transylvania 3, another movie from 2018. Here's the spine, and the back. Right here I only have the Blu-ray, you already know what I did with the digital code, and the DVD, it's gone. Here's Toy Story 4. This movie is not that good after me watching it five years later. After it came out. They're making a Toy Story 5, which I'm not going to be probably watching. Here's disc 1. Here's the DVD. And here's disc 2 with the bonus material. And that's my copy of Toy Story 4 on Blu-ray. Here's my last Disney movie on Blu-ray, and it's Onward, from 
from 2020. This movie released a few weeks before the pandemic hit. That's the reason why it has no slipcover. Here's disc one with the movie and disc two with the extras. That is my copy of Onward on Blu-ray. And here's my last regular Blu-ray movie and it's a Super Mario Brothers. Here's the spine, the other spine, and the back. I watched this movie in theaters when it came out the same week. It's a pretty good movie. You could watch this on Netflix or Peacock if you don't want to get the Blu-ray. Here's the regular Blu-ray movie and the digital code. You already know what I did with it. And the DVD. It's all red. Boring! Now let's move into the only two 4K movies that I have. Here's one out of my two 4K Blu-ray movies. This is The Incredible Hulk from 2008. Here's the spine and the back. Here's this one with the movie in regular Blu-ray. Here's the digital code and you already know what I did with it. And here's disc two with the movie in 4K. I don't own a 4K Blu-ray or a PS5, so I just watch the regular Blu-ray version on my PlayStation 3, or just use the digital code through YouTube or even Prime Video. Now to move on to my last 4K Blu-ray movie. And here's Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Here's the spine, the other spine, and the back. This 4K Blu-ray released in 2023 a few months after it released in late 2022 here's the movie in regular blu-ray it's orange here's the digital code and you already know what i'm gonna say and here's the movie in 4k ultra hd that is my dvd and blu-ray movie collection version 2024 thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Canica Hurry 27, signing out.